Welcome to our Juice tutorial. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many developers encounter when working with fonts in their applications. Our viewer is looking for a simple step-by-step -step solution to embedding fonts in Juice. Here's a quick overview of the issue. Our viewer has run into trouble embedding fonts in their app, which is crucial for ensuring that the font displays correctly on user systems. They've already taken some steps, like adding the font to their producer session and creating a class for the embedded font, but they're still facing an assertion error. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. To embed fonts in Juice, the first step is to add your font file to your producer project. This ensures that the font is included in the binary data. Next, create a class to manage your embedded fonts. This class will load the font from binary data. Here's an example of how to set it up. In the constructor of your embedded fonts class, load the font using the create system typeface for method. Make sure to check that the font name is not empty to avoid assertion errors. Now, create an instance of your embedded fonts class in your GUI component class. Then, set the font for your label using the getCallistoMT method. Finally, regarding the font field in the producer GUI component, you can leave it blank or set it to a default font. The embedded font will be applied programmatically so it won't conflict. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. It seems you're on the right track with Juice, but the font file may lack an associated name. First, check the name of the typeface from your Create System Typeface 4 call. If it returns an empty name, that's likely the issue. Next, consider using a TTF file viewer to inspect the font file. This tool can reveal if the font has a name in its metadata. If it does, there might be a bug in Juice. Lastly, try loading a different font that you know has a proper name. If that typeface works, it confirms the issue is with the original font. If the typeface does have a name, then investigate whether the error occurs with all fonts or just the one in question. And that's it guys. We've gone through, found the solutions, and hopefully answered your query. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, hope you have a good one. Cheers.